sign here. So we had some alder left from the table that we made and I thought it'd be really cool if I made a new size corner sign with it. So I printed off my logo and I transferred it to the wood. But I forgot my router in Primeville, so I had to wait until we were there again until I could router it. But it wasn't long and we were there and so I was able to get started. After I made the hallelujah sign, I had a bunch of folks tell me that I need a base for my router. One person led me to a video where someone made one and another person sent me a picture of one they had made. So I thought, well, maybe I can make one too. Husband had some plexiglass sitting around he said I could use and I bought some cupboard knobs. I was being careful when I drilled the holes, but I ended up cracking it in one spot when I put the screws into it. But I was able to super glue it back together and it is holding up so far. I didn't countersink the screws in far enough so they were scratching the wood as I was using it. So I put some tape over them and that fixed the issue. It is working really well and my hands don't get so tired. But I know what to do better next time when I make another one. So I used the profile bit and I traced around all of the black. And what a difference with the base and the handles. Now all I needed was a light, which I have back in Newport. It'll be so nice when we have everything that we own in one location. And this is decaf. I haven't had real caffeinated coffee for over like six months now. Then I started taking out the bulk wood around my tracing marks. I made a boo boo. Bummer. I kept on going even with the boo boo because I thought maybe I could make it work yet. And besides, that wasn't the only boo boo. Here's a close up shot. Once you get your bit into the valley made by the profile bit, then it pretty much guides you. Let's look at that again. There, you can see where I plopped into the valley. Anyway, I am still learning and practicing this technique, but I'm enjoying it a whole lot. Here's 20 more seconds of real time. I switched to a three quarter inch straight bit after I was done removing stuff so close to the design so I could take out the bulk quicker. I knocked off the bark with a chisel and the pooches were curious, but only for a short time. <laughs> then I sanded the live edges. Wally wanted a little love, so I stopped for a second. It's really nice in Prineville because the pooches can play outside and come in the shop whenever they want. I'd really like to put in a doggy door, and I'm thinking we're going to do that once we move over here. For now, the door's cracked open, so the shop isn't as warm as it could be. Then, when I was back in Newport, I painted it. The little house in my logo is purple, and I had a few different purples to try, and I like the dark, sparkly purple the best. Then I used yellow sparkly for the sun. Then I put black everywhere else. And when it was dry, I sanded it. Okay, what I didn't show you here is that I went back over the whole thing, going deeper with the router bit and cleaning up some areas. So I actually painted the thing twice.
verse, it's Colossians 3.23. It says, In all the work you are doing, work the best you can. Work as if you were doing it for the Lord, not for people. This is the same verse that I've also put on my hobby bench. I should probably put this verse on a plaque or something in my shop so that I can read it and remember this is my goal while I'm in the shop. If the paper gets stuck, then I just add a little bit of water and that takes it right off. And I really like the black background to be glossy, so I use clear gloss acrylic spray. It's all dry! Yay! So there we go! So there's my old sign, and then my new sign. Ooh. Thanks for joining me, everybody, and we will see you next time. Bye!